Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. What's up, William? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good. So, you know, this was a fun series to watch. You know, it's it, it felt very real watching you play this character. Uh, and it's a credit to the direction and the writing. You know, obviously you've done a number, number of TV series. What led you to take on this role? Uh, you know, because it was... It, it, it was different. It was different from anything that I had done. Um, not like so drastically different that it felt like, you know, I was completely outside of myself or anything like that. But it, it was, um, I don't know, just a little bit more grounded and just set in a world that I recognize. Whereas, you know, so much of the stuff that I've, I've done, especially on TV, has been, you know, something that has been, um, you know, either in a completely fabricated world or, you know, set in another time. You know, this is something that was, you know, in New York now, which is something that I uh, just thought was really interesting. And then I also felt like, um, you know, like especially with the, the genre of rom-com that I guess this fits in, um, I felt like it was really just more of a... Um, an interesting character study. You know, I, I felt like it was just, you're just watching a person grow and change and make mistakes. And it's told through the lens of, you know, who this person is dating or trying to date or pursuing or, you know, and, and I, I just thought that it was uh, just, it just did so much more uh, with the genre uh, than, than some things that I've seen. Talk to me about Marcus, you know, how do we best describe it, you know, he, I don't know it's quite his age on the show, but is he still someone still trying to find himself, even though he starts off married in episode one? I think he is. I think he's one of those guys that has an idea of what he wants his life to look like and thinks he has it figured out, feels like he should have everything figured out, and he doesn't. And this is a guy that is, you know, he's the kind of person that thought that like once they hit age 30, they were pretty much done changing and growing, you know, and and then promptly figuring out that uh, that's not the case. Um, you're gonna make some big mistakes, you're gonna shift again and again and again and again. And, uh, and so I think that he's in the middle of a, a, a kind of, um, kind of a crisis of self like you know just sort of being like oh snap all this stuff that i thought was me may not be me actually and i i need to look at all this again mm -hmm. every this is every guy's dream to have this sort of road normally you would get it like in a series where you go through seasons and going through different love interests or whatever depending on the writing here you get to have it all in one season with as many mm -hmm. actresses you're playing off against you know as you read read the script, you're like, oh, you're, you're paired this person, you're paired that person. What's that like for you as an actor when you know you're center stage for a series and you know you pretty much have to carry low, carry the load, even though you have different co-stars per episodes? Yeah, you know, like I feel like, uh, it, it, I mean, it is, it is sort of a daunting responsibility. I really just hope that I gave my scene partners something to play with, something interesting uh, to, to react to. Uh, I hope I was nice, you know, I hope I was pleasant to work with, you know, because it's, we also had, I mean, with all these different actors that came in to play these parts, each and every one of them, each and every one of them is fantastic. And um, there's an element of me just trying to keep up, uh, you know, they're, they're, because they're, they're, they're all really good. And I've, you know, the, I'm also tired. Of, I've been on set for a long time. I'm having to, you know, balance a lot of things and juggle a lot of stuff. And um, so that is that. That's sort of the thing that's always front of mind. Is like how and how how can I be the most available and present scene partner that I can to all these actors that I respect so much. Mm -hmm. You know, just like anything, was it a film, a stage play, you know, or a TV series? When you're reading your part, you know, there's a little bit, of, I always like to think that there's a little bit of themselves in the character. What part of you is Marcus? Uh, I think there's certain aspects of his persona that are me. Um, he, he makes very different decisions for me. Um, you know, like he's, he, he's, he gets into, into some messes that I uh, avoid like the plague, but, um, 
you know, like I, I think that I, as a person, am a little bit more reserved. I, as a person, am, uh, you know, I, I kind of play it close to the best most of the time. And I, I think that Marcus's, how he presents to people uh, is a little bit more of that. Um, I mean, we see him in moments of like sort of great crisis where that persona doesn't hold all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I think his day to day is that of a guy who is um, a, a little bit more watching and waiting and listening. And um, and now he's in a he's in a moment where and you know I think we're seeing through the series that he finds himself in several moments where he's got to speak up he's got to react in some way um, otherwise he won't be able to live with himself and so yeah I think that's the thing it's like the the sort of I think the persona that he presents to other people other characters on the show um, there's certain aspects of that that feel very much like like me. And there's a lot of ways in which this character, um, how he moves through the world in certain ways, uh, is a little bit more familiar than other stuff I've got to play. How is working, you know, amongst the cast, you're working a lot with uh, Punky and Jessica, you know, and, and the dynamic between each of those uh, actors is pretty, looks authentic, you know, it's playing your love interest, playing your sister, you know, how long did it take? I don't know if you knew them beforehand for you guys to get that chemistry right so that we can see it on screen. Well, you know, it's really interesting. Like, um, it, it, it's two different things. Like, you know, in Punky's case, she came on set and we automatically just sort of clicked. Um, she reminds me of folks that I grew up with. Um, you know, we're both Southern uh, and there's a way that she speaks and just in jokes that it, it just makes me feel comfortable. And we would just sort of laugh at each other and goof on each other all the time. You know, it was just, you know, I, I just, I don't know, I just felt instantly very comfortable with her. Um, and then with, with Jess, it was, she is the, she feels like, like she's just, she's, she's smart, she's funny, she's cool, she's incredibly good looking. And it's like, it's, she's like that person that you instantly put on a pedestal, and I also think she's just an incredibly talented actor. So I'm there's an aspect of being in awe of the person that you're pursuing that I think you know permeates a lot of relationships. Um, and I think that there's an element of just me being in awe of Jessica that I think sort of works its way in, which I think sort of feels like um, which which sort of fills out rather the the whole of the chemistry in certain ways, because it's, it's part of, um, you know, it, it, it's like for me, I'm always a little bit afraid and a little bit in awe of people that I'm very much attracted to. And I feel like there's like, uh, uh, that, that's, that's part of how it is with, with Jessica. It's like, there's an awe there that I, that, that, that sort of kicks things into a certain gear. And I think that we also just have, a very easy chemistry as well. And uh, we have, um, yeah, it was, she's just, she's just great. She's just great. Just so smart and so funny. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just easy, easy to, to find yourself just kind of being like googly eyed at somebody like that. <laughs> How is shooting this obviously in the midst of the pandemic, you know, like uh, at any given point, you know, did you think about you know, or get conscious aware as to how the world is living while you guys are trying to work and make a living and, you know, trying to get this show off the ground? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it's tough. Um, you know, it, it, the, the, everything is a little bit different, you know, like there's, but there's also certain things about it which are, uh, because they are necessary, they no longer look, the, the, the emotional weight behind them uh, is not as, uh, is not as salient. Like take for instance, um, we never ate lunch together, like in a big sort of mess hall, you know, like we never ate in a big dining hall together or like someplace we all had to kind of go to our separate corners to eat because you, you can't just be around that many people just with your mask off eating. And, you know, sometimes when I'm working a really long day, I need that that little lunch break to just sort of breathe for a second, reset, look over lines, just kind of close my eyes for a second. And when you have a big sort of dining hall that you go to, 
if you elect to not do that, it, to some people it can look like you're, you know, like you're avoiding people or that you dislike something or someone or you're just, you know, and, and really, and really what it's about is just, you just need to, you just need a nap and just to reset for a second. And so, um, you know, like that was something that was actually, it was like sort of this forced, uh, kind of, uh, uh, um, um, sort of solitude that I think is actually necessary on sets sometimes because you are sort of interacting and, and, and just up all the time. And sometimes you need to sort of conserve your energy in some way. And sometimes that, so that, that was one aspect where it was just like you, you were forced to conserve your energy in certain ways. Um, and then also just wearing masks all the time, being so totally aware of the danger at all times, the people around you and like, you know, I, you, you want to just get loose and, and just hang out, but it's, you're, you're always sort of conscious of how many people are in the room, um, when your mask is on and when it's off and, um, and then like, you know, you're, you're always, it's just, it's. It's just a constant thing. I mean, the other, on the other hand, like, I think most of us were vaccinated. Um, and so we felt some safety there. Uh, but it, it, it is just, it's been a long time that we've all been really very solitary. And it's weird to come out and to take your mask off with someone that you just met a couple of weeks ago, or maybe that day, and just hang out in a closed space with them. You know, like that's, that's weird. We haven't done that in a long time. You're, you were in a lead role. People want to get excited about seeing black leads on shows. Uh, you worked with different directors, you know, on this. As an actor, obviously you, you never could stop learning. Where do you go from here? After you've done this series, people will see you in a new light. You know, even though you've done other programs, you know, you've been in films, but you've done this. Now that you're a lead, you know, and granted, you always want to work. It's all about the script and so forth. What's going? What are you going to be looking for for your next project? In terms of what, what is you? What is it that's the that the, what? What's the killer instinct? The role, the script, who's doing it? It's it's it's. The, it, I mean, I think it's it's a little bit of everything. But I think the the main thing is the part. Is it different? Is it interesting? Is it different from the last thing I did? Um, and that that's that's the fun of getting to, to be an actor is that you get to try on different people you know like a, you you that that's that's the fun um and also not knowing if you're gonna succeed you know like if, if you, I, I like kind of trying to do something that i i'm not sure if it's in my wheelhouse to actually do it well um i, I so that's that's the thing that's the thing that sort of makes me it keeps me feeling excited um you know it's like it's so easy as an adult to sort of just do the thing that you do well and keep doing that one thing and uh i really miss that feeling of not being sure and then possibly failing but also succeeding when I, I, I didn't think I could. And so I, I like to get a hold of that feeling as often as I can. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, you know, this was fun to watch. I think people enjoy watching it. This is making me go back and rewatch season one again to see if there's a, obviously there are different storylines and so forth. Uh, where do we see you next in? Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't have anything, uh, nothing, nothing coming out. Uh, I'm working on something right now that I can't talk about, but, uh, you know, it's, it's... the actor in you will say that. <laughs> you know what? As all actors say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't say anything about it because, you know, someone will show up in my house, put me in a trunk and take me to a bridge and talk to me about stuff. So I'm trying not to have that happen. But, um, you know, I, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of waiting for the next, next job to come along and uh, hopefully it'll be something something interesting, something, um, something that, that scares me a little bit and uh, that'll uh, force me to, to do a little growing somehow. Well, in the meantime, we got a few weeks to talk about you, season two, Love Life, keep it going. I was, obviously, I'm always here to support you, keep your work going, and then wherever you're at, stay safe. <laughs> All right, thanks, man, you too.